Here we go. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Test, test, test. You got me, Dave? Yep. All right. Welcome to Matt LaCalla basketball on KYMR and up there in KHNS up in Haynes. <laughs> Looks like we got some great things going on. Marissa Haddock will be joining in there. This is a senior, Becca Wheeler, Ariana Davis, Melanie Thomas, Haley Barn, Kaylee Fisher, Amy Williamson, Rain Wing. Quickly, the ball is brought up and put it inside. Number 10, put it up. To, excuse me, as I get to know some of their names. Number four takes the shot, takes misses, goes out for a quite long rebound. Jump ball is quickly called, and that'll go to the mischiefs. I'm David Nelson down here along with Josh Gifford, and we'll be calling calling the games today. Um, tell definitely a quick shout out to Lyle Huff, who's usually down here calling for a KHNS. Ball moved over to Lexi Eaton Milne, going back to the back of the top, swung over the wing, put up for three, rebounded, battered around, and Mischie's come up with it, trying to put it outside, and stolen away by number four, number four, Avery Williamson. Quickly ball, given up, and swung on the outside, quick drive on the inside, kicking it back outside, back out to number 10. Oh, and she loses control of the ball. Kind of a frantic pace to start the game here. Yeah. As Russell comes comes down with it over to Buxton, back up to Russell. Russell over to over to <laughs> How come I'm forgetting their names? Because I haven't talked to them in two weeks. I watched it's been a while. I did watch them play at the Clark Cochran. They did very well over there. Um, they ended up winning one of the games, so they're three and three and two on the season. Ball quickly put in to Samantha Marsden. Marsden going to work inside. Nice inside, and she draws the foul on number 10, Becca Wheeler. That was a really inside. strong inside move. First yeah, that was, that was good. Definitely worked on it over over the break is what she what she went on there. Um, watching them watching them play at the Clark Cochran, watching them play at the Clark Cochran, they were um, it seemed their bigs just didn't have quite the moves going on. But it looks from that point that it was really good. So first one up for Samantha up and good. You know, not seeing these kids every day, it's like some of their names are starting to escape me now. <laughs> <laughs> easy to do. Yep. Samantha puts it up, rebounded in there by, by Wheeler. Wheeler is trying to give it up, and ball is knocked out of bounds by Russell, so that'll stay Haynes Glacier Bears basketball. Lady Glacier Bears. That's a mouthful. Yep. <laughs> Working in their grays. I like their gray uniforms. Yeah, those are nice. Ball quickly brought up on the right-hand side, put it in the inside, and loses control. Samantha Marsden making sure she was staying there right straight, straight up, and Jump ball is called now. Stay with the Haynes Lady Glacier Bears. Her second jump ball in the first two and a half minutes of the game there. Yeah. Just a little harder to read the front numbers. The back numbers are fine. Yeah. Gives yeah. it over to number 23, puts it up and fouled in there. Oh, I don't I don't have her in in my what number? 23. 23. They changed it. They changed one. They had Haddock in there as 32. 23 is Rain Wing. Wing, okay. Yep. You were talking to me about that. She puts it up and she's come up short on that one. They were talking to me saying um, Haddock had, had left her uniform behind. They tried to get it on uh -oh. the plane <laughs> and it ended up in Gustavus. <laughs> of all places. Yeah. <laughs> Traveling in Southeast Alaska, I tell you. She knocks that one down, tying it up one to one. Russell bringing the ball down. Gives it up to Lexi Milne. Over to Buxton. Buxton into Samantha Marsden going to work on the inside. Kicks it back out to Eaton Milne. Over to <laughs> Victoria. Stud still. Puts it up. Rebounded. Put it up by the Mischiefs. Back up there with Russell. Samantha Marsden putting that back up for two. Sam's really been working down there on the offensive glass tonight already. It definitely shows as it's going throughout there. As you see, Victoria ran in number four, kind of apologized to her. So they get to know their names as number four. That is Williamson. Williamson putting it up, no good. Long rebound to go out to Eaton Milne. It's her. It was her birthday yesterday, so. It yes, Lexi, it was. Lexi's birthday yesterday, so she turned 18 yesterday. Her Russell back up to Milne. Back over to Russell in the left wing. Back up to Milne. You don't see anybody out there. Just holding it. 
Lady Glacier Bear is being very patient and not coming out too far on them. Yeah. They're playing a nice little... Well, they were in zone for a second, and then yeah. it looked like they switched to man. Yeah. Oh, and Buxton takes Ooh, a shot. Nice She's been dangerous from there, from there going throughout there. So five to one to score. Miss Chiefs up on top. Number 23, that'll be Wing. Taking it down, gives it up, puts it up off the glass, no good. Long rebound, it comes down to the Miss Chiefs. Russell with the ball, she looks like she's gonna push it, drives it on in, puts it up, no good. Sam Mantha Marsden puts oh, it there, boy. no good. Rebounded in there, almost tied up, and it is tied up, yep. So many jerseys inside there, you know, it's gonna go there as Russell does it, does it out. And it looks like a timeout called by Greg Brittenham, head coach. Well, it's great to be back. Uh, I know last time we signed off in January, we said we wouldn't be, or in December, we said we wouldn't be back till February. Yeah. Uh, and then I looked at the schedule and I was like, oh, great, we got Haynes coming to town. Uh, yeah. Middle of January, life's good. I always look forward to seeing Coach Spossman, Coach Brittenham as they come throughout there. It's like like old friends coming throughout here, you know, as, as I've seen them numerous times throughout Southeast, traveling up and down, traveling up and down, going to some of the games as well, so. Uh, we might be able to talk him into it. Yeah, yeah. Hop on. Hop uh, on, Ian. Come on, Ian. We need your uh, your expert commentary. There you go. Uh, yeah. Mr. Ian Hudson joining us now. Yeah. A three-man team going on. So Haddock will be inbounding the ball. Gets it into number five. That'll be Barn. Ooh, nice and turnover. Oh, and Russell could quickly put it up and get in for two. Number 23, that'll be Wing. Wing taking the ball down. She's dribbling down, takes it right through the middle. Stolen by Studs still. Studs still giving up to Milne. Milne swings over to Buxton. Wide open for three. She looks up, pops it up, no good. Rebounded in there. Ball bounced around, bounced around, pops up to Barn. Barn taking it up, puts it up off the glass, comes up short. Rebounded by Russell. The frantic pace continues back yeah. and forth, back and forth. Russell coming down. Nice pass to Studstill. still. Stud still taking the nice 10 footer. That was Knocking beautiful. That down bounce nine pass. to one. You don't see bounce pass like that very often yeah. anymore. Ball coming over number 33. I don't have her. I'm assuming that's Fisher. <laughs> yeah. Ball quickly moved around the outside. Stolen by Milne. There's no 33 in the scorebook oh. either. <laughs> Maybe it was 23. Sorry. 32 and 23. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Those numbers are a little tough to read. Yeah. Milne puts it up and quickly put up on the inside by Buxton. Buxton got a quick four points out of there. Making it 11 to 1. Miss Chiefs really exerting their will on the Lady Gra Glacier Bears at the moment. Yeah. One of the biggest things I've seen at the Park Cochran was that the Miss Chiefs were having a problem with the, with the full court press, but they don't seem to be having that problem right now. Mm -mm. Ball quickly batted out of bounds, and so that'll remain Lady Glacier Bears ball. Coming in is 14 and 11, as well as 31. So Thomas, Davis, and Fisher. There's Fisher. She's in there now. Coach Brittenham trying to change it up to see if he can get something going. If number four puts it up, no good. Rebound it by Stud still. Williamson trying to take the shot, not able to get get the shot coming up and Sudsville still come down the rebound. Quickly giving up to Milne. Milne's running the point. Giving up to Russell. Russell taking a nice 15 footer. No good off the glass. Rebounded in there by the Lady Glacier Bears. Wow. So she kind of swung her elbows a little bit off. What do you think of that again? Is that how wrestlers play basketball? <laughs> Appears to be so. Yeah. <laughs> Russell looking to pass the ball inside, finds Buxton. Buxton back to Russell. Russell taking a nice 10 footer. No good. Rebound in there by Milne. Milne, <laughs> nice bounce pass by Milne giving up to Russell. Rebound, rebound again by the Mischief. Sam putting it up. No good. Russell putting it back up. No good. Whoa. And Buxton coming up with a rebound. The only one that didn't get a rebound in there is that still, I do believe. Samantha Martin. Oh, what a off finish. The glass. Nice job. They had four rebounds in there. Lots of good looks. 
Ball quickly put, <laughs> brought down and foul called in, inside there. You know what I've been seeing out of the Miss Chiefs that I really like, though, is, is uh, when the Glacier Bears get a rebound. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Miss Chiefs aren't giving up, and, yeah. and they're pressuring it and generating turnovers that way. Yeah. We get another. Williamson at the line. Actually, she's fouled in there by number 25. For the Miss Chiefs, that'll be Lexi Milne. Looks like they went up to rally the regions. Um, Haynes actually lost against Craig, Craig on two nights up there in Haynes, and then they went up to went up to rally the region and did did some pretty good things up there as well. Russell coming down. Two minutes to go. Thirteen to three. Giving over to Milne. Back up to Russell up on top. Back over to Milne. Ooh, Kayana, big three. Oh, oh bounced out, and Milne with the rebound puts it up way <laughs> up, and no, not able to get it, but Trying Buxton. Trying to play it high off the glass yeah, there. Buxton coming up with the rebound. Samantha wow. Martin coming in there, and... She's showing a lot of potential tonight. Yeah. Those first few games that we had here at home, um, well, up in Petersburg, she didn't do much, and over at Craig, they're playing some, playing some big ones as Lexi taking a seat real quick. A timeout called is she, she has to come in there and it's like she has some going, things going on. So, watching over to the Clark, you know, they were definitely missing Lexi Milne to help them, to help them control, the, control the ball, but they were playing some teams over there, um, a school of 500, I do believe, and the school of 700 from up north. Yeah, a couple and big then, teams. And then they're playing Craig and they're winning that one, so. And then they, Mount Lakella just played Craig over there in Craig. So, although I can't blame Lexi for uh, missing the Clark, she was down seeing Mickey. Uh, yeah, in Anaheim. Uh, yeah, warming up. Happiest place on earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they since they're opening the Star Wars exhibit down there, the Star Wars land, they raised the price. <laughs> they raised the price on them. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> you can, yeah, kind of an interesting thing. One minute thirty-eight to go. 3 to 13 to score. Miss Chiefs up on top. Miss Chiefs taking the ball underneath. Lexi, or Alexis Russell. <laughs> it's kind of hard with a Lexi yeah. and an Alexis. Yeah. Ball quickly put in the stud still. Stud still. Looking to pass. Gives it up to Samantha Marsden. Marsden coming up and draws the foul. Miss Chiefs certainly are not having a problem getting the ball in the paint. Yep. I'd no, 90% of the shots so far have been in the paint area. <laughs> and the Miss Chiefs certainly have the size advantage down there with Sam. Uh, I don't see anybody on the uh, Haynes squad that can really match up with her at the moment. Yeah. That was on Becca Wheeler, her second, team's third. Ball put up by Samantha, just a little bit long, and Marissa Haddock will be coming back in for Wheeler. One more shot coming up. Yeah, Spirit Fingers there. That's right. Puts it up and just a little bit out there. Nice rebound inside there by Haddock. Quickly given up from the front front court. Williamson, Williamson looking to pass it and. Turnover? No. Another foul call. Wow. <laughs> Lexi has three fouls, is that what she's saying? Uh, that's what it appears. Yep. Ooh. First period. Uh, <laughs> two fouls. Two, they got anyway, up yeah. They were showing. Oh, that was. Three, yeah, three on her. <laughs> That's Check tough. It Put up a quickly shot and rebounded. But the end of the ball game is Anika Clark. Clark did a wonderful job over there, and Ooh. Travel's called in the steal. I thought he was going to call a foul, but Roy yeah. Brennable. Saw uh, an extra step there. Yep. Roy's been invited over to do the regional tournament. He was over the Clark Cochran too to do do stuff over there. So he's done officiating up in Anchorage Kenai area. And Samantha puts it up, no good. Re rebounded in there by Studstill. Studstill good. Quickly putting out Russell puts it up for three, no good. Rebound by Studstill. Studstill over to. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. 
he's come a long ways in a few a few games. It's like, like I said, with everything else going on throughout there, Clark's been just amazing. Yeah, she Puts really turned it on over there at the Clark. Yeah. And that shot was put up by Davis. She comes up short, rebounds to the Mischiefs. 38 seconds left to go, and the ball, ball given up to Clark. Clark dribbling the ball. Gives up to Russell, wide open. Oh, she thought she had somebody underneath. Yeah, she, she did. Yeah, coughed it up, and ball quickly got down by Williamson. Oh, yep. Oh, oh my goodness. Charge. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, oh. That might be a little home cooking. I, I <laughs> questionable. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what, what did you see again? What did, what did you see? I think Uncle Roy is so upset that the Capitals put the beating down on the Bruins last night. Oh, did you see Ovechkin check that guy? Oh, it's the bench. <laughs> her, her arms came forward, so I thought that should have been a foul, a blocking foul on her. But, you know, so 15 to 3, 11 seconds to go. Samantha Marsden putting it up and gets her rebound. Oh, wow. Putting it up again. Ball battered around, and Clark puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Buxton. Buxton trying to give it out there, and Williamson putting it up. Was gonna get the foul. Yep, not able to get it off. I think there. she was fouled before the time expired. No, it looked like he was. Gonna, I thought he was gonna call the, the foul. What is the deal here? Well, I with four fouls, <laughs> four fouls and three fouls. I don't think. I don't think it would have made a difference other than on there. So, yeah. So he's. It would, would have been. been a team it would have been out of bounds. Would have been out of bounds play, and so that would have been like a few seconds left on there, and probably not enough to score. So 15 to three to score. So it's been been quite a bit, quite a bit going throughout here. You know, I really and playing playing basket or playing calling play by play up here. Um, you know, it's been it's been fun to come up here and, and do this. Um, really miss Lyle. Like I said, usually, yeah. usually I'll, I'll sit down and talk with Lyle for a good hour and a half before the game starts and get a lot of information from him about around the league and so what's going on. So um, looks like nobody's really pulling away too too tough in, in either league other than the Mischiefs. Um, they split over there in Craig, so which was really kind of surprising. But um, the second night, I know... Um, I know... Um, Oh, I'm surprised she's not playing. Allison Booth, um, who's really impressed me over at the Clark. Um, she turned it on. She came up, came up defensive stopper. And you know, being a freshman, she does that. I was talking with some of the ladies up there that, that play ladies open gym um, down there at the town hall. Said that she came, she came down there. Oh, look, you got the three centers in there now. <laughs> the tall, tall trees. Yep. Myra Guthrie, Tane Booth, and Liliana White. Hey, Nelson, your uh, oh. broadcast from earlier might still be playing through the like, sound of it or whatever. Oh. oh. I'm wondering. That's a fun that's fact. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to hammer out some technical stuff. Yeah. The ball moves over to Tane Booth. Tane Booth gives it up to Myra Guthrie. Myra Guthrie over to Clark. Shakes it off and resets. There's Allie. Yeah. Oh, Allie almost gives up the ball, but she does that. And look who's down there, Clark waiting there. Williamson putting up the shot. Nice shot. Comes up a little bit short. Gets her own rebound, a long rebound. Williamson looking to drive. Puts it up and fouled in there. And he can do it <laughs> as soon as the whistle blew. Coming up with smiles, you know. She was guilty. It's one of the biggest things as an official. They started this last year where they, they hold up two hands on there, and a lot of times the officials have the numbers backwards on there. They're coming up because, you know, you're holding up 21, and on there it shows 112. Yeah. As she knocks down that first one, making the forward 15, 722 to go. Hey, um, I'm a lot more impressed with the turnout this time than uh, yeah. our last home games. Yeah, definitely good to see. I think um, some of the paper out there telling what time the people were still showing up at five o'clock, though. So. Yes, they were. <laughs> they started at six. They show up at five. They were on Mountain Time. Yeah, on Alaska Time, I guess, or something. Myra Guthrie taking the shot, no good. Rebound in there by Tan Booth. Booth giving up to Allison Booth. Allison dribbling it back up. She's going to set up there. Gives it up to Clark. Clark. Didn't like it. Get back to give and go there, yep. and just 
missed it. Clark to Booth, and they're gonna they're gonna work it out there. I have no problem with the Miss Chiefs taking their time on the offensive end, up ten. Yeah. Early in the second oh, quarter. Oh, and Clark looking to knock down the three, and she does. I didn't hear Bank. <laughs> Bank's <laughs> open, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Patience pays. Yes, it does. <laughs> Williamson with the ball. She looks pretty tired out there right now. It's surprised as oh nice setup as Haddock is nice crossover and draw the foul. It's on Lily on a white. It'd be her first. Do you see Was it a shooting call? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. yeah. Puts up the first one, comes it's a little bit long. Re in is five and twenty-three. So we got Wing and Warren in there. Maybe spark them up. They got some points up on the board. So points are good. Nice shot. There we go. Oh, Looks like she almost twisted her ankle. <laughs> Turning around, 6 to 18, 6 15 to go left in the first half. Booth with the ball. Oh. She's coming up. Coming up to Clark. Clark giving up to, to Tay and Booth. Tay and Booth giving up to Liliana White. So a little bit behind her. Liliana taking a nice 16 for Ooh. her. Comes up just a little bit off there. Rebounded in there by the Lady Lady Bears. Quickly pushed up on the right hand side. Brought around the outside, Williamson looking to drive again, and she almost gives up the ball, but they're able to hold on to it. Oh, nice block in there. Good as ball. Haley oh, Barron was taking the, sh taking the shot as Nico Clark able to get the block. And foul is called on number 23, Rain Wing on there, her first team six, which means the mischief is going in the bonus situation on the inbound. See that B light up up there? In the bonus. I-N-G-O. I'm rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, look at that, Allison Booth driving it on in and she draws the foul. Five minutes, 20 to go. Six to 18 to score. Allison Booth at the line. Knocks down the first one. Is that Danny over there? Oh, uh, sure right about Hunter? Yeah. Nice to have alumni back in the building. Yeah. Knocking them both down is Allison Booth making it six to 20. Six to 20. Ball quickly ran down the Haddock. Haddock looking to swing the ball. Picks up her dribble. This is over in number five. Barn. Barn setting up the play. Giving it up to Williamson. Williamson. Giving it back up to Barn. Taking the shot. Coming up short. Ball battered around inside there. Lady Glacier Bears with the ball. Comes up with it. Taking the shot and fouled in there. Boy, referee Roy Brendable pulled out the shoe shine for this one. <laughs> Those suckers have blinded me from all the way across the court. <laughs> He's going to hear about this, you know. Yeah. He, he, they do watch the game afterwards. <laughs> if I was on 44, that'll be Myra Guthrie, her first, team's fifth at the line. Ariana, Ariana Davis missing the first one. Thinking about the second one. Focused. Puts it up and does oh, not wow. get the bounce. It's a road bounce. Ball quickly brought on them down. Allison Booth looking to push. Finds White. Comes up. Real no strong. Good. And <laughs> Misty's putting on that defense tough on the backcourt. Relentless. Williamson putting it up and has it partially blocked, but 
Glacier Bear is coming up with it. Ooh, nice, nice try. That was tough. I don't think I, I don't think I can shoot over <laughs> Tan. She's pretty tall. Yeah, those Chiefs have some height. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they really do. Lyra, Tan, Lily, Sam. Yeah. Victoria. Yeah. Makes you excited for the future uh, yeah. because they're all young. Mm-hmm. Where else in the country is your league opponent 319 miles away from you? <laughs> I don't think anywhere else. <laughs> no, it's no, definitely to unique. About that fact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is, it is wild. Is, are they the furthest away? I believe so. Yeah. yeah I mean, two ferries and a jet. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they, they weren't able to take a ferry from, there's no ferry from Haynes to Juneau right now. So they actually had to charter a plane to fly over to Haynes to Juneau. And that's why Lyle didn't make it down because they didn't have enough. No room on no the room plane. On there, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, I, but just the sheer logistics of, of sports in Alaska yeah. is kind of mind blowing. You know, every, everything that goes into uh, even putting a season together. So it definitely makes you appreciate all the ADs and the, uh, and everybody that, that plays a part in putting these things together for the kids, it's yeah. pretty pretty special. For yeah. sure. So we're just stay with the least amount of roads. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. So Sam Sam came down here and he did he did the whole photo shoot in the book Whoa. and the article about the about the traveling up and down southeast that led to an ESPN article, which led to our documentary. Which should be coming out sometime later this year. Yeah, I heard March or so as the ball cookie put up and jumped, jumped up there and turned it over to the Lady Glacier Bears. 404, 620, 6-20 the score. That was a nice block by Davis. And it was. Something's happening here. Maybe some blood. We got a blood break. Yep. She got scratched. It happens. Yep. Number 10, Becca Wheeler will be in there. We had a music teacher here named Wheeler years ago. <laughs> How many years? Ball quickly brought up, misses, you're getting some nice defense in the back. Warren nice dribbling team. around the outside. Picks up her dribble. Trying to get it inside. But got, a, got held on the inside there. Yeah. Is that Lily on White? That's her second foul. Just uh, a reminder to you guys that you're sitting with a fantasy football champion. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder to you guys you're sitting with the NCAA tournament champion. Oh, Al. <laughs> Allie just, oh, I don't know if she's embarrassed or hurt. <laughs> oh, man. She just tripped over the ball pretty yeah. good. Ball put up by number 23. Oh, no good. Rebound in there. Like Clark, Clark, bring it up to Allie. Allie's smiling. Oh. So she was a little bit embarrassed there. Okay, I'm she glad she's okay, because yeah. she did kind of land awkward there, but uh, yeah. I'm glad it was just a little embarrassment, not anything worse. Oh, quickly put up the high-low post. Nice, beautiful pass. Oh, oh come on, oh. Tan. <laughs> you see that push in the inside? back? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. A little on-court hug. This is the toughest thing about it being an official when you're right underneath the basket is you want to look up at the <laughs> basket to see if it goes in. Right. But um, you got to trust your other two, your other two officials out there. Yeah. Let them let them call it in yeah. the inside. You watch everything else on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough though. I I, <laughs> I do it all the time. Like when I'm officiating, I look up the basket. Still a fan. I'm a fan of tan sneakers. Yeah. Oh, and Allison Booth knocking it down. They're giving up to Barn. Barn bringing it down the right hand side. Two minutes, 42 seconds left to go. 22 to 6. Taking a three, knocking it down. Nice shot. Yeah, there you go. 9 to 22, 233 to go. She looks a little more energized. That's always good. That always helps you when you. you 
get some of their edge. Break the ice a little bit. Yep. Oh, look who's in there. James is in there. Ball quickly put up. Oh, yeah. Trying to give it to Meyer Guthrie. Jordan kind of snuck in there. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Somebody got hit in the face. Oh. Hopefully she's okay. Yeah. She, oh. You brought up on the left-hand side. Oh, hard screen on James. Ouch. Oh. She popped right back up, though. Yeah. She did. And here comes Allison Booth. Allison Booth bringing it back. Here we go to Tayan. Tayan looked like she's going to take a shot. She or thought about it. Give it back to Booth. Booth in there. And I tell you what, man. <laughs> that Williamson, she's been in there and she's a freshman and she's playing hard. She's playing hard out there. Like I respect that a ten. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And of course, the bonus situation, sending Allison to the line. Foul is right. on Williamson, by the way. It's her second foul, team seven. And she knocks down the first one. There have been a lot of whistles. Nice to see a freshman knocking down all the free throws so far. Yeah, yeah that's solid. The future. Yep. That's a very important part of it. Watch number five. Yep. Nice. Oh. oh. Rebound of oh. Myra puts it back up. No good. Comes up short. Rebounded in there by the Lady Glacier Bears. And who is in there to tie it up? By the Allison Booth. Nice of Lily to stay back there and help her up after the jump ball. Yep. Good sportsmanship. Always good to see. Ball given up on the inside by Wheeler. Wheeler giving it back. Swing it back. Nice. Ooh, there you go. go. Had it. That was a nice pass. Beautiful pass to had it. Getting it in up there. 11 to 23, 127 to go. Allison Booth coming in there. Swinging it over to Tayen Booth. Tayen Booth giving it up, giving it to Meyer Guthrie and stolen by, stolen by Haddock. Haddock looking to drive down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she smiled. I don't even think she meant to do that, she, but it worked out. <laughs> she was like, she was like, put her hand up there. And poor uh, Haddock. I was like, you know, it's like, uh, that's that's a tough one to shoot against, though, is when Tane's got her hand up there. She, she's know. a tall, tall tree. Matumbo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, put up and inside, <laughs> rebounded in there by Guthrie. One minute to go. 23-11. Glad people are listening up there in KHNS, also watching on the YouTube stream. If you're listening on the radio and would like to see the YouTube stream and can't figure it out, go to AISDK12.org and click the KYMR link and it's right there. Yeah, you can't, can't miss it. Nope. Put it right in front and center. Rebound it in there and that'll be Miss Chief Ball. Coach Russell calling out a play. Gives up to Guthrie. Guthrie up to James. Oops, steps. <laughs> Happy feet. It's a, a little bit of a walk. This isn't the NBA. You don't get that zero step. <laughs> the James Harden. James Harden back. zero step. Double step back. <laughs> yeah. I was actually looking at the at the um, explanation of that. It's got a great explanation. Look, they put it up by Williams. Oh, and wow. Knocked it down. Williamson knocking that down. Good shot in there. Great play. Yeah, that was. 13 to 23. Excellent finish. Who's the foul? That Two leaders are encouraging a rebound. And hopefully we get one. Nope. Knocking <laughs> it down. Nice three point play by Williamson. Old fashioned way. Yep. Allison. <laughs> But she's like, hurry up, get it up across the line. We're gonna play for the last shot. Here's a Lillian, Lillian White, Lillian White. Nice inside to Meyer Guthrie. Meyer Guthrie powers it in there. No good rebound in there by the Lady Glacier Bears and tied up. So that'll give it back to the Lady Glacier Bears. 10.4 seconds left to go, 14-23 score. Ball thrown down there. Oh, oh. Down. nice. They had her. 
Oh, and the foul. Oh. Boy, she was streaking. I thought she was going to get a <laughs> wide open look there. Yeah. And it didn't work out that way. Williamson looking looking to get down there. She, she's, <laughs> you see her, she coming down there and putting up the ball to boot. 2.5 seconds left to go. Allison Nathan, the three. Oh, no good. Jumps it up. So 14 to 23 is the score. You're listening to KYMR 88.9 Yellow Mountain Radio. Listen to us. Hopefully you're listening to us. Uh, <laughs> And or else we've done a bunch of talking for nothing. Yeah, but. and also on KHNS up there, <laughs> up there in Haynes. We'll be back in about ten minutes. We'll yeah. Back in about ten minutes. He's got eight minutes up in there. We'll be back in about ten minutes. Yeah.
Okay, welcome back to Matlakatla Basketball on KYMR and up there in KHNS. Do you hear that that quick little happy birthday shout? Shout out to Lexi. <laughs> yeah, she, that was great. She ended up um, we ended up singing singing to her a little bit. Ball brought down by Lexi, Eaton Milne. Over to Samantha Marsden. Marsden giving back up to Russell. Russell puts it up and puts it in for two. Quick start. 25-14 to score, 7.43 to go. We lost Ian, but he may be back. Yeah. Ring giving up. Swing ball and, oh my goodness. Warren, like, looking to try to get it in there. She's a sophomore. She really impressed me last year with her play, um, the way she did did things going on. But she ended up traveling on that one, so turn it over to the mischiefs. Lexi brings the ball down. Give it over to Alexis Russell. Back, in the, back up there, Alexis Russell. Drives it and puts it up, <laughs> and there you go. He just had the fuel up with some dew. There he goes a long line for the dew. Oh. <laughs> puts it up inside as Samantha Marsden put it up for two, two more. Ball looking, brought in there by Wing. Wing swinging the ball over to number four, Williamson, who has that largely blocked. So that'll turn the ball back over to the Mischiefs. Should have followed us. <laughs> yeah, you just had a fast pass. <laughs> yeah. We would have lost the hospitality room. Yeah. Oh, oh and Samantha Marsden putting that back up and getting for two. Two more, making it 14 to 29. Tight defense out there and fouled. Alexis didn't like that call. <laughs> that was a face. <laughs> A lot like watching some of the Seahawks play out there. You know, like, yeah. what, what, what was that called? Oh, oh, <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a very well officiated game. Uh, it's definitely ball put up inside and nope blocked in the inside. Williamson with the ball giving it up to Haddock. I like how Sam stands up nice and tall yep. with her hands up. Stolen in there by the Mischiefs. Oh, and Russell puts it up off the glass. Good for two. Keep getting messages on there. Tweeting people. Puts it up off there. No good. Rebounded by the Mystics. Keep picking it up. Russell. Russell taking it on the right hand side. Puts it up. Stop. Puts on the brake. Wow. Puts it in. That's pretty good. 33 14 to score. 5 minutes 40. Mystics with the steal again. Russell giving up to Milne. Milne swinging the ball over to Buxton. Buxton on the left wing. Back up to Milne. Over to Russell. In the stud still. Stud still looking. Nice up. move. Oh, nice uh, block inside there. Ball put up and Haddock had the ball and she ended up getting knocked down. The fouls on the misuse. Stud still gets the ball for the ball foul. She's all hustle, that one. Yeah, be her first, team second. Really surprised the Mischiefs are throwing on the full court press. I am too, up 20. Yeah. That looks it's, like a punt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha Marsden throwing, getting, coming up the ball, and Russell coming back with it. It's probably something that Coach Russell just uh, feels like they need to work on, and now's a opportunity for them to do so. Well, so. Almost right, out of bounds by Buxton. He managed to save it and Russell coming up with it. Russell swinging the ball over to Buxton. Buxton into Marsden. Marsden, nice. With the left. Huh? I couldn't do that. No. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> and pushing foul. Another one on Alexis. Yeah. Yep. And timeout call. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. What's going I on? I think Coach Russell liked that one. He didn't like that call? 
I guess not. I mean, two quick cheap ones on his daughter. Yeah, he was he was visibly upset with that one. I think the Miss Chiefs are still in fine position. Yeah, they're they're doing fine. She picked up two quick fouls on there, but you know, you've seen Coach Russell was actually really pretty pretty visibly upset. I'm just like, well, I mean, you know what? Yeah. It happens from time to time. You, you, <laughs> you pick up you pick up little fouls here and there. Uncle Roy Brendable <laughs> had a couple real questionable ones earlier against. Uh, <laughs> So maybe that's just make it up for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, they say they say when you're official, you don't try to do makeup calls. You don't try to do makeup calls because then you end up doing it all all game, and then I'm know. personally a fan of the makeup call. <laughs> yeah. If it benefits me. <laughs> <laughs> when the Seahawks are playing, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> makeup call for us. Come yeah, on. Exactly. Call all those. Uh, if it goes the other way, I'm not, I don't like it near as much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ball quickly put inside there, and she's stepping away his wing before before she had control of the ball, and so go off and I'll turn it back over to the mischiefs. Make up call naturally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Russell in the Marsden puts well, it up in there. She, for two. She's my player of the game right now, hands down. Yeah. She's got a steal. She's got many rebounds. She's got some points up on there. She's got some blocks and down low. And still knocking it, locking it away. Tied people up in jump ball situations. She's just done a little bit of everything tonight. Oh, it's stolen by Milne. Milne giving it up over to Buxton on the left-hand side. Over to Stud still. Studs still looking to drive. Puts it up and comes up short. Rebounded there by Marsden. There she is. Back up. Is. She can't oh. be stopped. Williamson quickly put down there as Marsden comes up. Oh, changed her shot a little bit. So that's on both ends of the floor. Yeah. Sam. Scored the bucket and was the first one back on D. Yep. That's what you like to see out of Really out admirable. Out, out of a center. freshman, too. That's... Uh, Really positive quality. Oh, beautiful pass on the inside oh. there. <laughs> Marcy is not able to knock it down. Whoa. Comes up with it again, though, and <laughs> knocks it down. I don't know how many that is for her, but it's a lot. Yeah. Cannot be stopped at the moment. <laughs> no. Dominating on both ends of the floor. Six yeah. points in about a minute and a half. Foul is called a number 11, Ariana Davis. So that'll be her second team's first. Yeah, I get to work with Miss Huber daily down there in the PE, and it's a lot of fun to watch her. And it's it's a different thing when it's game day. It's like she's in her her zone. So. Oh, rebound yeah, in there by Buxton. Her and element. Foul. Foul's on number 14, Melanie Thomas. Be her second. Her first, actually. Team second. Buxton putting up a shot, knocking that down. 42 14 the score. Buxton looking to take the second shot, comes up just a little bit short. Nice block out in there by Wheeler. Oh, <laughs> come back it up. What body's flying all over the place? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Looking around, Ooh. Williamson with the ball. Oh, it looked like there was about to be a <laughs> collision. <laughs> yeah. And oh, foul. Oh, golly. Yeah, that was an interesting series of events. <laughs> yes, it was. Chaotic, to say the least. That was called. Lots of hustle. Yeah, that was called of the hustle. Yeah, that was called a stud still her first team's third. So now we're going to take a brief timeout. 30-second timeout, yeah. Compose ourselves. <laughs> that was chaotic though. There's a lot going on. Yeah. So, 14 fouls against the Mischiefs now. We'll see how this goes. You see him talking up there. It's really interesting to watch the officials um, here and you watch the officials everywhere else and like where they're standing and positioning. 
machine-wise, and you know, during timeouts and all everything else going on. Um, I noticed um, most other places they stand at the free throw line and then they come over and they give the one minute, they give the first buzzer warning. Oh, almost, almost in there and it's stolen. Russell. Russell giving up stud still, stud still over the Bucks and Bucks and knock, knock, knock down three, no good. Rebounded in there. Oh. Samantha called for the foul. He's going for the cycle. Got the foul, rebound, steals. Went over the back just a tad bit there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's tough when you're a lot taller than the opponent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it totally, is. Totally forgot about Jones' birthday today, too. Uh, don't do anything. No, I, I'm just saying, I forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yep. Oh, T? Yep. Seen Coach Russell was in his ear the whole time on the way down there, and he didn't give him a warning. He just sat there and did that. Well, and there's the birthday girl. <laughs> so if you're listening out there in uh, in she, Radio she, Land, you would hate it. She's uh, like looking over. She knows what's going already, on. <laughs> so we're gonna just say happy birthday to Alexis Jones from the radio booth. Uh, she just. <laughs> I don't want to get murdered, so I'm gonna not announce it on the PA system. Yeah. So knocking those one of two down, making it 15 to 42 is Williamson. Coach Russell, I don't think it's a technical foul all that often. No. no. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> he was not happy. No. Nice, solid screen out there. <laughs> Falling down, but able to get it off and rebound <laughs> in there. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Lexi almost able to get to it. Nice try. Good effort. That's what happens when you get older. You don't go quite as fast anymore. At least on my part, anyway. <laughs> I am faster than I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stud still. Knocking the ball out. <laughs> Williamson with the ball, left hand side, kicking the ball in the haddock, haddock taking the shot, no good, rebounded by Studstill. Studstill giving up to Russell. Oh, I kind of like that second string that went in, the, in there. Buxton coming up to the Russell. <laughs> Are you getting texts now? I'm giving up to I'm Sam. getting texts and, and I'm not going to give in. <laughs> Foul inside there, and Russell going up for two. That was on number 32, Marissa Haddock. It's this, we need an arrow that says point this way a little bit more. Had to be her second, team second. <laughs> you know, it's probably not even Adam that's telling us, it's his wife. It's his wife, yes, that's correct. That's. <laughs> Mrs. Jenny Crick uh, <laughs> trying to influence me to go. Wait till they look over. <laughs> They're not looking over. Hey, maybe uh, you if, if you it? feel like Jones's wrath, you can announce it on the PA <laughs> well, you system. Know, I'm in a different different school. I don't see her every day. That's so right. You may, you maybe may, be, may be able to get away with it. <laughs> in Ball. two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, quickly giving us studs to the studs to the over the Bucks and looking at the oh. uh, oh. Samantha putting it up and oh. not able to knock it down. She is just, she can't do anything wrong right now. She's, she's just, yeah, this is she's getting open and making stuff happen. It's her game. They can almost put in four centers at, at, at one point. Let Allison Booth run the points. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Knocking down Samantha. Definitely going for the cycle. She got a free throw, rebounds, assists, well, blocks, blocks, fouls. Fill in the stat sheet. Yep. Oh, yeah. She's all over it. 
She needs a three-pointer. <laughs> there you go. She can knock them down, too. Oh, yeah. 15 to 45, 1 minute 46 seconds left to go. Russell stealing the ball away. Puts it up and in for two. Fifteen to forty-six, one minute thirty to go left in the third. Put it up for three, coming up short is Barn. Oh, nice pass up on the oh. inside. And <laughs> lost the hand. She wants that one back. Yeah. I'm just gonna say shout out to the other birthday girl. <laughs> there you go. Here, you know who yesterday. you are. Huh? Wasn't Lexi's birthday yesterday? Yes. yes. The, the real birthday girl. Yep. It's her. Jones, Alexis Jones. She, she tried to tell tell everybody her birthday's in February. <laughs> That's what she was telling me <laughs> earlier today. And she had a couple people fooled, too. <laughs> you tell everybody it's on um, her birthday. Oh, stolen by Russell again. You tell everybody it's on leap year, so you only have to <laughs> yeah, deal exactly. with people every four years. That's what um, Jason Weber did. Lexi, Wide open. three. Oh. Coming up short. Haddock coming down, has the ball stolen. Boy, I don't know how many turnovers the Mischiefs have gotten tonight, but it's a lot. Yeah. Oh, and knocking down a three is Russell. 49-15, 36 seconds left to go. Get it ready. <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll have to wait till I'm... Uh, I gotta go talk to Phoenix. You wait till I'm back there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had nothing to do well, with I it. I got nothing to do with it. Ball quickly goes. Smith! Oh, 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 she was going for it. She was trying. <laughs> going for the three. 49 15, seven seconds left to go. Ball quickly pushed up and shot. Coming up short. One second left to go. And so 15 to 49 to score. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can help me wish the anonymous birthday girl a happy birthday. You sing happy birthday to the anonymous birthday girl. She knows who she is. I'm hiding away. But if you want to sing happy birthday, happy birthday. It's a wonderful thing coming here to the district and making sure everything's going on. Um, she was smiling. Hey, that's a good thing. <laughs> oh man, she's going <laughs> motion to you. I know, I didn't even do it. You have no influence over me. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you get the crowd singing. That's always a wonderful thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. And here we are, fourth quarter. It seems like an eternity later. Oh, here we go. Yep, see? He, he put everybody else back in. So you got Tan Booth, Lillian White, and Myra Guster. He was playing, I imagine, playing forward. Right? I hope that the referees have some loose whistles. Yeah. Allison Booth and Nika Clark in there. Had it putting up. Oh, blocked. Blocked again. <laughs> wow. Think she learned that from her cousin? Yeah. <laughs> Block party. Can't discredit the Lady Glacier Bears effort, though. They've been out there hustling they, around. You know, they, they do great out there. And they're banging, too. And they're young. Yes, they are. I really appreciate Haynes coming all the way down here to play. I mean, they only have one senior on this roster right now. Yep. Yeah, oh, oh, nice, nice steal. steal. Oh, big steal. oh, I thought she, she was put that in. galloping like a young deer yep. down there. And <laughs> the rain wing. <laughs> they will do that one. Seven oh six to go. <laughs> Clark with the ball, giving up to Liliana White. Oh, nice block. On the inside there, by number 11, Eliana yeah. Davis. 
and the ball was quickly stolen back by the Mischiefs. Yep, but the, you're right, Ian. The Lady Glacier Bears haven't hesitated one bit when it comes to banging around down low and... and Ten! <laughs> nice pass. Making contact. It's been a physical game, and they've hung I, right in there. You know, I, I got to call him out on that one. He missed that foul call. He should have been called on that one. He's knocked Tannen down. At, Did Roy miss it? No, that was right in front of him. That was um, Chatham there. That looked like an NBA flop to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's the best flopper out there? LeBron? Harden's pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Harden got pretty good at it as well. Oh. That Patrick Beverly is pretty good. Yeah. I used to be pretty good at it. I used to, like people wouldn't even touch me, and I'd make it look like they hit me hard. Manny Ginobili was a stud at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in his prime. So Booth with the ball. Allison Booth giving up the T and Booth taking a three. Oh, no good rebounding there by Clark. Clark nice Allison Booth. Allison Booth taking a three. Offensive right rebound, Tan, all right. Those rebounds are happening right in front of me. I can't believe that Allison put it no. up. No, no good. Well, I'll Rebound take the Mike. long possessions. Yep. Here we go. Barn coming up and fouled in there by Clark. A little push from behind. <laughs> That's the right call. Yep. Even though I don't want any calls at this point in the game. Um, Sometimes you just got to call. If you're Haynes, you like it because you want to get, get some time off there. The, the officials are like, where are we going right now? We're shooting a free throw. First one's up and good. Nice. Nothing but nylon. 31 and 14 coming in. So Fisher and Thomas coming in. I'm out. I don't know what, he, what he's going to do. He's probably going to set her up again. I think they're trying to set up Tan, and they knock down a three. I'm trying to get Tan. Uh, Looks like it's a double pick at the free throw line. Tan squeezes through and has a wide open look from the top of the arc. Oh, that's what he's drawn up? That's, I've seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> to quote Hoosiers, run the picket fence on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, picket fence is good. <laughs> Boy, Johan sporting some facial hair. Yeah, I told him that's my look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to grow up my hair and put it in braids, see how he likes it. You've <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually been sporting this look since 2003. Growing facial hair since 2003. Yeah. Yeah, I've had this stash for about three months. I'm getting tired of eating my hair, own hair. So, uh, Ian, Ian's had his since sixth grade. Oh. <laughs> Ultra full. <laughs> to the line is born. Well, Myra nearly <laughs> <laughs> went in the lane. Oh, did you see that? Stopped herself. Myra Looks like a duck decoy, flapping the wings. She really did. Is that what Oregon does? <laughs> Here we go. Allison Booth with the ball, giving up to Clark. Clark, yep, there's a double screen, trying to get her free. Allison Booth coming back up. Double screen, puts it up, and no good. Rebounded by Allison. Got Allison her own rebound, back all right. Clark. Oh, she's wide open. Lily put it up and come up short. Got her on rebound. rebound. <laughs> They're trying to get it over Tan. Yeah. Now it's Tan to shoot it. What? The Lady Glacier Bears are having a very hard time on the defensive boards. Yeah. And part of that's I just size. Yeah. I mean we've got Myra, Lily, and, and Tan in there who are not short. Um, but I'm sure Coach will probably tell him to or work on boxing out some. Yeah. Oh. Owie. Gets up smiling. That's good. Allison's like, I'm okay. She's tough. 
that's good to see to see when they do that, you know, with incidental contact going throughout there. 16 to 49, 4 minutes, 40, 53 seconds left to go in, in the game. Ball quickly pushed up, and Clark, quick hands, just knocks it back into Williamson giving it up. They put it on the inside, and holy cow. And ball. Allison right in there, and here comes Jordan James. All right. I didn't like it when I call her by her initials. JJ. JCJ. JCJ. Yeah. Well, she's rocking the uh, Michigan Jordans that uh, could also stand for Metlakatla. Yeah. Her mother is a Wolverine fan. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it all makes sense then. Her mother is a fan of a lot of, a lot of sports teams, which is pretty amazing. Is she the Dolphin fan of the family? Jordan? Her, her, yes. her mom. No, Packers. 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 Jordan, Jordan is a Dolphin fan. And then Dad's a Bills fan. Yep. And then Ramey's a Bronco fan. Yep. And the whole family is and different then, NFL teams. You don't see that very often. <laughs> no. Nope. Ball given to Allison. Allison drives it on his side. Oh, oh my goodness. Hard contact down there. <laughs> Unique took a shot. He's smiling though. Oh, man. That was a shot. <laughs> that was on 31, Kaylee Fisher. That'll be her fifth. Who's going up for Clark? Should be Clark. Uh, what is happening? There we go. Fifth foul. Uh, 11. Oh, one and one. Yep. Yeah, so she should be shooting a free throw. I forgot to put it up there. Or I think that's how one works. Yep. Hey, look, it's Carson with short hair. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was, um, Clark. Clark was out there shooting. Hey. Hey, the foul's on 11. Or 11 shooting. Yeah. Leave it to the radio announcers to make sure that's called out there. <laughs> <laughs> but she she had the ball, so yeah. that I can see why she would say, "I've got it." But you know, Clark was the one that was knocked over. So and she bird boxes. Close her eyes, right? I'd never watched it. I, I, after all I've heard, I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> Knocking down the first one, 50 to 16 to score, 4.15 left to go. <laughs> break off the rust, man. Holy cow. Knocking down the second one. Didn't make any change different whatsoever. Ball quickly brought down by Bourne. Bourne looking his pass and not able to control the ball. Boy. You know, I think we need more more signs up in here. You know, all the signs are on the side. We need more signs up there. <laughs> we do. I mean, that's the beautiful mural of Southeast, but. Sixteen three fifty five to go. Warren's the ball quickly swinging it over to number eleven. Davis Davis putting up shot, no good. Rebounded back by Davis. Davis puts it back up, no good. Rebounded again. Oh man. Yeah. Well. A little frustration out there. I'm not, uh, yeah, I understand that. Bears. You. It's, yeah. it's hard getting beat. Or, or being down 30 some points uh, yeah. in the fourth. Uh oh. Jordan uh -oh. had her leg landed on rather funny. Uh oh. I hope she's okay. Uh oh. Oh no. 
You don't like to see that at all. Hopefully she's okay. Yeah, and yeah. she her body landed sideways and kind of planted that ankle to the ground. Oh yeah, nothing like that. That cowboy that got hurt. Holy cow! That was that was brutal. Gnarly. You don't like oh, to see anybody get hurt. Was that Hearns? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was probably one of the most gruesome football injuries I have ever seen. That was like. <laughs> and they showed it in slow motion, and I was sick to my stomach. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine how painful that would be. So. That was a full timeout call by Coach Greg Britton having was able to get them off off the court. There's our athletic director, Brittany Leesk, to the rescue with a big ice. Yeah. Right off the bat. Checking up. She's she's definitely coming to her own as an A D. Um, you know, I'm watching the things that she's doing. Um, you know, also being our school secretary and, and then being AD as well. So She wears a lot of hats, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Ball looking to be inbound and long inbound. Looking it up and nice. Coming up just a little bit short though. Williamson. Born over the 23 wing. Wing has it stolen. Davis oh. has it stolen away and Golly. knocked down. It seems like we can't get 10 seconds into the game before somebody's body is on the floor. Yeah. It's been physical. Oh, absolutely. got how many seniors they got Misty's have three seniors right uh, Victoria Lexi and Lily mm -hmm. oh and Lily yep 325 to go 16 to 51 to score rebound the ball given up to Lily on white white back up to Clark Clark over to Booth over to Tan Booth Tan dribbling giving up to Clark Clark giving up to White on the right wing. White driving on in. He was out to Booth. He was out to Guthrie. Jack out to Tan Booth. Travel. <laughs> I see Boren went down the tire shoe. She almost threw the ball right <laughs> where she was at. And thankfully, she hesitated. Williamson with the ball. It's going to be a, something to deal with in the next next three, three, four years. Williamson puts it up and fouled. Fouled by Myra Guthrie. That's the one thing I try to teach when I'm when I'm. Um, Doing any kind of coaching if you're out there, it's like just don't don't talk back. Just accept what they call. You know. Yep. It's the coach's yep. job. Coach's job to talk to the officials and doing that, and it's your captain's job to talk to the officials about about things. You don't talk back to the refs. So that's what you're speaking captains for. Yeah, when I had to learn that lesson the hard way, uh, I was called for a personal foul one time on the football field, and uh, the next practice for talk to officials, and I had to run. <laughs> yeah. And run. Yeah. And run. And I never committed another one. Yeah. Avery Williamson knocking those down. 15, 17, 51 to score. Liliana White with the ball. Coming up to Myra Gussie. Taking the three. Coming up short. Stay, almost saved by Booth. That was a good effort by Ellie Booth. Yeah, it really was. Good to see smiles on, on the girls' faces, too. Yeah. They're out there having fun. They've had some tough losses this year. Uh, nice to see them rebound with this one. And uh, just to enjoy playing the game together out there. Yeah. Ball giving up to Williamson. Williamson, oh, yep. <laughs> she knew it. 
She thought she got away with it for a second. Nico Clark. More fouls. It's her third up there, eighth team foul. So send, send Williams to the line, knocking down free throw, 18-51, two minutes, eight seconds left to go. Williamson knocking that down. That's what you like to see out of anybody, especially a freshman coming in throughout there. You got Allie, Allie and Williamson coming up there. But um, there are a couple of freshmen who are, who are doing very well for their teams out here. Tan dribbling the ball from top, giving up to Clark. Clark, give up the booth. <laughs> Freshman battling it out down there. Williamson trying to knock it out, and she gets called for the foul. Sending the alley to the line. <laughs> Fouls on number four, Avery Williamson. Her third, team's eighth. 151, 19 to 51 to go. 19 to 51 to score. 1952. I tell you, working with first graders on math and then coming up here, it's hard not to say 50 and 2 is 52. <laughs> 50 and 3 is 53. <laughs> 147 left to go, 1953, Miss Chiefs up on top. And stolen in there by Clark. Clark puts it up and they'll get rebounded in there by Davis. And foul is called. She better be careful. That's the second time. And I, I understand the frustration, you know, as soon as you Hit the ball, it seems like somebody's grabbing at you, but. Yeah. So that was foul on Lily on the white, her second team's ninth. A lot of fouling. Thinking about it. Puts it up and just rims out. No good rebound. And they're knocked out of bounds, so that'll be the mischief ball. Allison Booth. <laughs> Kept her toes in bounds. Not yeah. that one. <laughs> Puts it up with Meyer Guthrie. All right. It, it looked like that, right? Yeah. Looked like she was trying to keep her toes in bounds and she fell down and got that. Came up 55. That was a nice play by Nika there. Yep. Oh, Davis putting up no good. Here comes Allison. Allison, nope. <laughs> Dribbles off right the off foot. the toe. Leona knocks it down. <laughs> oh, Liliana's fired up. Oh, the ball quickly turned over. Here comes Allison. Allison put it up and up off the glass. No good. Rebounded in there by Haddock. Haddock trying to push it up and not able to do so. Crowd's getting riled up. The bench is trying to signal to the uh, Miss Chiefs to just hold the ball. And I hope that's what end happens it here. In a classy way. Yeah. 25 seconds, that'll about do it. It seems like a kneel down, right? Yep. <laughs> Miss used to try to hold the ball on the outside. Is Lily on the white with the ball? Hand checking there, I'm surprised that yeah. wasn't hard. Over to Guthrie, go over to Tay and Booth. Up to Clark. Clark over to Allison Booth. Two seconds, one second. Allison takes the three. Yeah. I don't know. 
a freshman mistake. Yeah, and Julian Russell saying, I said no shots. I said no yeah. shots. And he, he was, that was a classy move on their part. You know, Allison, Allison just wanted to try to take that last second shot. You know, it's it's your dream to take that last second shot, right, Ian? Yeah. Take that last second shot and <laughs> knock it down and, like, get the crowds fired up. But that'll do it. So 1957, we'll be back in about 20 minutes um, with Chief Basketball against the Haynes Glacier Bears on the boys' side. So we'll talk to you about 20 minutes. Bye-bye now.